and welcome to episode three, unbelievably, of Murky Mystery Series here at Duke Street Church, Richmond. I'm Detective Doolots, and this is my colleague, Detective Doolittle. And we've got so many exciting things um, yet again for you in this episode. And so without further ado, let's kick off, shall we, do little? Yeah, let's get started. Let's get getting into shape. Um, and our cadets are going to come on and help us to warm up for the day. Come on, cadets. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you very, very much, cadets. Oh, I don't know about you, but I think that's really working for me. I'm starting to feel a lot fitter. Right, well, we're going to come to our competition time now. Yes. And as part of our competition, it's going to help us <coughs> to be good detectives. You see, being a good detective is all about getting into a criminal's head. And uh, one way you can do that is by pretending to be someone else. It's by doing impressions. When you do an impression, you're learning to think and speak like someone else thinks and speaks. So, detective do lots. Mm. Can you do any impressions? Well, hang on a moment. Oh, who could this be? It's awfully good of you to be here this morning, being with us all, we're really, really, truly grateful. Come on. Uh, I, think I've, I think that was really, really good. Uh, who, who do you think that was, boys and girls at home? Who do you think that might have been? Uh, we'll, we'll find out later. Okay. Um, let, let's have another impression, shall we? It's not going to be from me. Um, is there anyone, anyone out there who can help us? Uh, I wonder if PC P-Brain's around. P-Brain. P-Brain. Good to see you. Hello. Uh, Great to have you on stage. Uh, can you do any impressions? Sorry, what? Can you do any impressions? Impressions, um, P-Brain. Sure. Um, can you do uh, one for us now? Right now? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Was that it? No, no, <laughs> just warming up. OK, <clears throat> OK. Here, for the first time in human history, from our vantage point behind the tree, we see the lesser spotted Adam Bear in its natural habitat. Oh, that's really good. That was, that was very good. That, that was, was very, very good. Very good. OK. <clears throat> Thank you very much, P-Brain. We'll find out who that is in a moment. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm going to have to yes, do one, absolutely. aren't I? Um, so who could I be? Who could I be? I've got one. Um, here we go. Uh, well, at the end of the day, it is what it is. And uh, it was great to score a goal. But more important, it's, it's good that the team gets a result, isn't it? I have absolutely no idea who that is. OK. Well, do you want to say who, who yours was? OK. I was, of course, the Queen. The Queen. Oh, the Queen. Did you get Brilliant. That? Yeah, it was very good. Uh, <laughs> P-Brain, where have you gone? Come, P -brain, come back, P -brain. boy. Sorry, sir. P-Brain, who are you being? I was David Attenborough. Oh, oh yes. very good. Yeah, yes. that was good. Um, and, and, and you were? Me. Um, I was Harry Kane, or alternatively, oh. any footballer, because they all sound the same. Uh, there we go. Okay, brilliant. Well, right. <clears throat> now, enough of that silliness. 
I think we need to sing some songs. What do you think? I think that sounds great to me. Should we have a sing song? Yes, come on, right. come on, cadets. Come on, cadets. Come and Help join us. Out. us. Where is he? Oh, I hope he gets here soon. Uh, it'll be time for my morning break soon, and even I don't have to have a break before I've even started work. Detective Doolittle, sir, I've had such an exciting morning. Oh, well, this better be important. Tell me what happened. Yes, well, sir, you see, the thing is, uh, as I was walking along to meet you, sir, trying to be on time, sir, and sorry about that, sir, uh, I was thinking through the case, trying to think about all the different things we've seen, and when I think I like to speak the thoughts out, loud so that I can hear them, but of course that meant other people can hear them, and this lady, she overheard me, and it turns out that she saw the crime taking place. A witness? Oh, that's fantastic news, P-Brain. Well done. The right witness could crack this case wide open. If we've got a good wit witness, we could be done today. In fact, we could probably finish a little bit early. Yes, well, sir, she's right outside. Shall I go and get her? Uh, yeah, give her a call in. Great. Uh, now, what was her name? Um, uh, Martha, M Millie, no wait, uh, Mildred. Uh, Mildred, can you come in, please? Yes, yes, yes. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello, hello there, Mildred. Hello, it's it's hello. lovely to meet you. Uh, yes, my you partner too. here says that you saw what happened with this terrible crime. C oh. Can you tell us what you saw of and who of course, did it? Of course, it was. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second, Mildred. P Brain, make sure you take this all down. I don't want you to miss a thing. Mildred, sorry about that. Over okay. to you. Okay, all right. Well, it was, it was Tuesday. Uh, I think it was when... No, it was... Yeah, it was... Yeah, anyway, it was bin day. So I, I woke up quite early on bin day because I just... Because they wake me up because they make such a noise, don't they? Mm, they make yep. such a noise. Anyway, I'd remember to get all this stuff out for the bins, which can take quite a 
quite a long time. And I have to remember to do that on Monday night, obviously, in order to get it all right for Tuesday morning. Anyway, so I got up quite early. And anyway, it was laundry day. It was laundry day, which is great, um, because I like to organize things, you see, and put things in the washing machine and, you know, and just organize things and get my ironing out and all the rest of it. And I put the radio on. Mm. Anyway, I, um, I started to make myself a cup of tea. I don't like Earl Grey or anything like that. I like, you, you know, your proper, your good English um, Yorkshire tea. Um, anyway, so I put on that and then I just, I put in some sugar, I remember mm. that. Anyway, then the phone rang, the phone rang, and it was, it was my cousin, Mona, you see. And anyway, Mona can talk, oh my goodness, Mona can talk. <laughs> So Mona was chatting away, but she's had a really hard time, actually. Mm. She's had a really, really hard time recently. So that was quite sad, actually, listening to her. Anyway, by that stage, my tea had got cold. Mm. And, um, and I was going to have some cake with it as well. Mm. But um, So was it Tuesday you wanted, or was it Wednesday? No, well, the day, that, the day that the crime took place. No, that's really helpful, actually, Mildred, because you've given us a lot to go on there. Um, P. Brain, did, tell me what you make of that. It's, he's, it's his first day on the job, you see. Uh, oh. Sorry, it's his third day oh. now, isn't it? He's very new. Oh, he's very um, anyway, new. Anyway, tell me what Mildred uh, just told us about the crime there, P. Brain. Uh, what did you get? Uh, well, well, sir, um, I'm not sure, sir. I, I'm not sure what it had to do with our case at all, sir. I found it a little bit hard to follow. How rude! I'm uh, Mildred. How I'm hard to follow. I'm How so rude. so sorry. Like I say, he's very new. P brain. If you can't follow it, it's not Mildred's fault. It's yours. If you've got a question you want to ask, ask away. But don't don't be so rude. Sorry, sir. Uh, sorry, Mildred. Uh, Mildred, uh, did you see or hear anything when you saw and heard things about the crime? Uh, that could help us to solve it. On Wednesday? Yeah. Well, I heard a bark. Bark? Like a tree? Like an animal. An animal? Oh. Like a dog? Hmm. Well. The plot thickens. How could a dog do something like this? You've been very helpful, Mildred. More helpful than I could have thought possible. But do you know what? I think we're going to have to go away and write up some of these notes. We're going to need to take a proper witness statement for, from you, Mildred. So, um, so let's go away, uh, write all this down, and we can have a cup of tea while we're doing it. Um, I'm sure PCP Brain would love to buy you a cup of tea to say thank you for all your help and to say sorry for being so rude earlier. Oh, what a lovely boy. OK, lovely let, let's boy. go. OK. and girls oh that was a great video you have been doing brilliantly we are on episode one two three of bible detectives we are getting very good at bible detectiving and we have been looking at the clues from the bible to answer this very important question who is jesus and in episode number one we find out from the bible that jesus said he is the light of of the world and that idea of life and light. And then in episode two, we find out that Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. And we thought about how much he cares for his sheep. But we are going to carry on and we are going to find out more about who Jesus is. And guess what? We have more clues, and oh, we're getting quick at this. Guess what? The clues are in here, but there is loads and loads of numbers, loads of numbers. You're going to have 30 seconds to try and decode these. Are you ready? Are you steady? Go.
Well, there's lots of clues about here. Well, we've got bread and life and hungry boys and girls. This is getting really difficult work. And you know what? I'm getting really hungry. So just just bear with me a moment. I'm just going to put my Bible down. And I'll just, I'll just go into this, this clue box and uh, just have a little snack. Just, just bear with me, you know. It's, it's very hungry work, this Bible detectiving. I don't even know if that's a proper word. I'll just put that there. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, it's a bit, a bit dry, a bit, a bit steel, but I'm going to be hungry later. Boys and girls, have you ever felt like that? Where you've been so, so hungry and your, your tummy's growling away and you think, I just want some food. And then maybe you get some bread. Uh, you can see the images of different bread are going to come up. Lots of tasty bits of bread. And then you eat the bread. And, oh, it's so tasty. You might maybe put some butter on it and some jam on it. And then you eat it. And mmm, you feel good. You're satisfied. But then a little bit of time passes, and then you're hungry again, because it, it doesn't last, and then you're hungry. Well, Jesus uses the idea of bread in John's gospel, and he had been giving bread to 5,000, over 5,000 people. And people had ate that, and they had enjoyed the bread. And then a few people came up to him after and said, oh, Jesus, show us so many other signs. We want to see more signs, more signs. And Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Listen to what Jesus says. He says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Jesus is saying that he is the bread of life, and those who believe in him shall never go hungry. And so what Jesus is trying to do is to use the idea of bread, because we get the idea of bread that when we're hungry, we can eat bread. And if we didn't have bread, if we didn't have food, we would die. We need bread to survive. And Jesus is using the idea of bread to explain something about who he is. He is the one who gives life, that you will have eternal life. And later on, he, he goes on to say that, that he is the bread of life who will give eternal life. And it's for those who believe in him, who trust in him. You know, boys and girls, there will be many things in this life that we will go to, but they will not last. They'll be like eating bread or eating food, and you will keep coming back needing more because it won't last. But when you come to Jesus and you trust in him, you believe in him, you receive bread that lasts forever. So my question for you as we finish up is this. Have you come to Jesus, the bread of life? Boys and girls, it's that time again to see how well we remember our memory verse song. So remember, this is from John chapter 14, verse 6. And Jesus said to him, I am The truth, the lie. I am the way. Have you learned the 
Not to yet. No, uh, it's catchy, isn't it? It, it really is gets very, in your head. Very, I'll, be singing that. I'll be singing that all week. Very catchy. You should know the words by now of the memory verse. I'm getting there. I'm okay. getting there. We'll okay. Let's see how we get on uh, in episode four, shall we? Okay. I'll, I'll test you. I'll test you. Um, now, it's craft time, isn't it? It is craft time. What, what do we need, Doolittle? Uh, we need craft materials of various descriptions. Uh, can, you, can you tell us more? Yes, I can. What you need today, it's a very exciting one today, because you can eat it. <gasps> what you need is bread, food coloring, as many different types of food coloring as you, as you like, sugar, and water, okay? So bread, food coloring, sugar, and water. Over to Ali to show us how to go about that. Well, welcome back to the craft area for today. Nice to see you. Right, so today, remember what Jesus said? He said, I am the bread of life. Yes, well, today we're gonna to be doing a bread-based craft. Look, really, really colourful bread. So that's fun, isn't it? Look, look, I've done one with a sort of rainbow on. Nice colourful rainbow. And what I couldn't decide what to do. So I did a half a bit with kind of spotty dotties on and half of it with nice diagonal stripes to make some nice colourful bread. And do you know the best thing about this bread? You can eat it afterwards. It's all edible stuff. It's not very good for you, but it's very edible. Yummy. Haven't tried any yet, but I will do. You can choose whether you want to toast it, get it nice and crispy, or have it a little bit soggy. But I'll let you decide that. Right, so what do we need today? We need a slice of bread, or two if you want to be adventurous. A little paintbrush. Now, ideally, what you want to find here is a paintbrush you haven't been using for paint because we want this to be edible and we don't want yucky bits of paint in there. Um, so get your mum to find you one that she wouldn't mind you using, okay, for this job. But we do need a paintbrush for dabbing on the colour. Next, you are going to need some food colouring. Okay, so, and ideally, what I would ask your mum to get from the shop is some gel food colouring. Not the, all the runny stuff, the other food colouring. Get the gel food colouring because what the gel food colouring does, it makes it really, really nice and bright colours rather than wishy-washy. And also, it makes it less soggy, which is good. You don't want your bread totally sogging over. So a few different colours is enough. You can get loads of different colours if you want to. Have a little look at what's in your kitchen. Then you're going to need just a few stir spoons for stirring around your mixture and as many pots as you've got food colouring. Lastly, sugar and hot water. Be really careful with the hot water. Get your mums and dads to help you because it does need to be hot, but I don't want anybody getting scalded. Okay, so let's get going. All you need to do is get about, hmm, let's see, about a tablespoonful of sugar and put it into each one of your pots. If you're only doing one slice of bread, you probably don't need a whole tablespoon of sugar, truth be told. You probably just need half a spoon, but I'm just going to pop in my spoonful there. And then a spoonful into my next pot. And a spoonful into, as you can tell, this is going to be yummy. This is a lot of sugar going in here. Great, there we go. Done with the sugar, pop that away. Next, we're going to need about the same amount of hot water, okay? Um, maybe a little, go for a little less rather than a little more to start off with. You just pour it in there. So again, about a spoonful, in it goes, about a spoonful, in it goes. And then, you're gonna to want to stir them around so all the sugar and the sugar crystals dissolve, okay? as best as they possibly can. So give it a good mix. There we go, that's my first one. And then this next one, oh, lovely. Mix it, mix it, mix. There we go, number two and number three. Off we go, if you've got more, you're gonna to have to do more of this. 
Good, okay, so that's my sugar and water solution all mixed up. Now I'm gonna add my colors. And I would just say, put a good splodge in. You want it to be nice and bright, so scratch. Nice. Number one, blop. It's my blue. I've gone for blue, pink, and green. I thought they'd be nice colors. Second one, here it goes, splurge it out. Uh, lovely. Don't get any of your clothes. Just squirt it into the cups, please. And then the green. Off we go. Scrooge. Great. And you'll see that with the gel, it then will colour the whole of your solution. So at the moment, it's a little bit just in one place. So give that a stir around. Mix it all in. Lovely. That's looking good. Looking good. Oh, stir, 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 stir. Get that ready. I'm using a different spoon for each pot so that I don't mix up the colours. They stay nice and separate. Oh, that was an easy one to do. Number two, the pink one is looking good. And then thirdly, the green one, give it a stir. Great. So you all should be with me. This craft doesn't take too long, actually. But it's pretty fun to do. And if you want to, you can always try different designs on different bits of bread, if you've got enough bread. Right, here we go. So we're finished with the colours. Spoons, right. So, now, all I've got to do is decide on my pattern. What am I going to go for today? I think today, for my bread of a life, bread, I might try doing the stripes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip, 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 and paintbrush in. And then all you do is just paint it onto the bread. Painting bread. Who would have thought it? Here we go. On it goes. And what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to do all of my red bits first. So I'm not switching between one and the other. If you've got lots of paintbrushes available that are nice and clean, then you can just... Uh, put a different paintbrush in each one and use it, but I could only find one that was clean, so I'm just gonna use this one. Here we go. Right, so I'm getting my stripes. Lovely, on it goes. Get lots of colour on, can you see how it's going on? Look at that, nice and stripy. Great, lovely, on it goes. Oh, I could even do crisscrosses on this one. Maybe I'll try that, I've tried that before. Right, good, so that's my red. I'm going to give that a little swirl in my water. There we go. Get any excess water out, because otherwise your bread's going to get too soggy. Right, so that's my pink done. Next, I'm going to do my green. And on goes my green. I'm just going to follow that pattern. Lovely. Now, guys, how are you getting on with yours? Have you decided on a pattern? Yeah? You started? Good. How's it working? Yeah, pretty good, fantastic. Okay, lovely. Well, has anybody tried some of it yet? No, of course you haven't, of course you haven't. Right, okay, here we go. Ooh, lovely. On it goes, on it goes. And as it did do it, and on it goes. You need to get quite a lot on your paintbrush, I find. There we go. So otherwise it just kind of all soaks in. There we go. Great. So that's my green. Another swish. There we are. Now what should I do? Should I do crisscrosses going over just for fun? My blue. Yeah. Let's give it a go. See how it looks. Here's my blue. My blue's got a bit watery actually. Mmm, that's too watery. That's just going to soak all the way through. I'm going to add a bit more sugar. And that'll thicken it up a little bit. And that's the trick. If it's looking too runny, just add a bit too more sugar. And whoop, if it's looking too solid, too sugary, just add a bit more water. Don't put too much water in. Otherwise, it really does just sog, sog, sog up your bread. Ugh. Right, okay, so I'm going the other way with this. I'm going to go across. There we go, see how it looks. There we are. 
There's my blue. On it goes. Lovely. What colours have you guys gone for? Blue as well? Yeah, blue's, blue's a good start. Lovely. Yellow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would have liked yellow. I think yellow would have looked quite nice and bright and sunny. Yeah. And then as you're eating this, if you want to eat it, um, you can remember what we've been learning about today. That Jesus is the bread of life. Okay. Super. Oh, it's like a tartan effect I've got going on. Fun. Okay, just get those last bits on. Good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And there we go. Look, my crisscross tartan effect. Colourful bread of life. I wonder what it tastes like. Well, go on. Mmm. Sugary. Very, very sugary. Well, I guess you better get back to your other activities. Enjoy your bread of life. Thank you so much, Ali. That was a great activity. Too little. Is, mm. Are you eating your craft? Mmm. It's nice. Is, is, that all you, is that all you did? Yep. Because you got hungry? No. Just, just like bread. Okay. Well, here's mine. Um, I took a lot of time and effort over mine, as you can see, and it does look really, really tasty. So mm. I think I'll have that a bit later um, with a cup of tea. Um, and well, I'm going to finish mine now. I'm just going to keep going. So okay. while I eat this, um, okay. should we? Should we have? I mean, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have to be able to take part in this because I'm full of bread now. But um, for the rest of you, uh, why don't you get up on your feet and yes. we're going to do some dance moves? Put that no, bread not dance down. moves. Workout moves. Put All right, the bread let me put down that and down. get working out. Not too tired yet because we have another one to go. Let's start with some detective duck walks. Spy squats. Binocular burpees. Walkie talkie worms. Jump for the camera. <laughs> Detective duck walks. Spy squats. Detective duck walk. Binocular burpees. And finally, walkie talkie worm. Almost finished. All right, I tell you what, it's those detective duck walks. I just, I just can't stop walking like a duck. They just, I love them. I love them. Really? Yep. How, what do you think of my form? I like this one. It's That's the walkie-talkie worm, That's I think That's the walkie-talkie worm, yeah. yeah. It's great, this one. Great. Well, what a day that was. What a what day. What a day. Hope you've really, really enjoyed yourselves, and we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back in the, the next episode, certainly. Yeah. Uh, so we can't wait to see you then. Uh, make sure you come back for the last <gasps> of the Murky Mysteries. Wow. Uh, it's great to have had you with us. What do we usually say about now before we end? Goodbye, isn't it? It's goodbye. Already. Okay. It's goodbye. So goodbye from me, um, Detective. Do lots. Basically, do everything. And him. Uh, and from me, Detective. Do little. Do hardly anything. Almost nothing at all. Bye. Bye. Bye.